Hey guys, this is Mo Cinema Insight, and here I'm joined by Robert Merritt, if I'm correct, from yep. Euphorian Filmers, if I'm correct once more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, well, okay. actually, I'm going to, I mean, as soon as my second episode of Limited Cognition comes out, I'm going to be with, I'm actually going to be on my own, like have my own studio, but... I'm also going to be doing a shitload of collaborations with Euphorian Films, so I guess I'm not officially leaving. But still, yeah. Yeah. Um, what made you want to make Machinima? Well, um, it was a long time ago when I first got my Xbox. I, um... I purchased my Xbox when Halo 3 came out because I wanted to get Halo 3, of course, and that's the only reason why I got it. And so, you know, I played Halo 3. I kind of started getting bored of it because it's just not my kind of game. I can't play it competitively at all. I started going online, watching videos. I started making my own videos, gameplay videos, and then I noticed uh, Machinima, which is... um, They used cinema in their... Uh, creations like cinematography and um, creating a storyline to something and you know basically making a movie except it's called machinima uh, uh, that's that's basically how I got started I looked at machinima mainly I started watching digital fears videos uh, and he's the one who got me started really I really liked his deus ex machina series and that's mainly the reason that pretty much answers the next question. Uh, who's your favorite machinima producer? I'd have to say Digital Fear or Drifter. Both of those, maybe. Drifter's a cool guy. Uh, I'm really excited for Matthew Lake's um, creation. Me and him are like good buddies. Me and him are actually working on stuff together, but I'm kind of... We're kind of keeping that a hush hush for now. I can't talk about it. <laughs> so, what made you come up for the idea of limited cognition? Well, um, I started making videos. You know, when I first got my Xbox, I was making all these this random shit like a. Uh, my first series, Limited Cognition, and the Battle for the Stargate, which were both extremely horrible. The dialogue was ex- was freaking bad. I I was the only one really doing voice acting. I found out how to lower and raise my pitch to kind of add a bit of variety in the voice. But I, I, I really, really sucked at voice acting, and it just sounded horrible, and I hated it. My voice actors actually kind of rip on me for one thing I do. For one for, for one voice that I did every well every time they watch it and sometimes if the, something reminds them of it then yeah they they rip on me about it but I'm over that kind of but um yeah those were my two uh, most well most horrible and the only things I really made then I was on a big hiatus because I wanted to be good I wanted to be kind of known. So I um, started uh, uh, kind of reading articles and tutorials on how to be efficient at this kind of stuff. So then I um, was on a hiatus for at least a year. And then I took another year to write a story and kind of uh, practice with what I knew. And eventually I got better and better and... Now, uh, I'm making Limited Cognition. Uh, I combine Limited Cognition's story with Team Spartan a little bit because Team Spartan had to do with remembering and cognition and such. But Limited Cognition's story part, like, it actually has an ending. It, uh, it has, it has kind of a complex storyline. It has twists and, um, I'm not really going to give anything away, but yeah, uh, it has all that stuff, and the name, I came up with it with my dad, we were both in a trailer, we were camping, I believe, or whatever, 
and I wanted to come up with a name for the storyline, and so me and him were just sitting there in our trailer, and I was telling him it had to ha- it had to do with a limited amount of memory and remembering and cognition and well i didn't I wasn't even aware of the word cognition back then, but uh eventually he told me that name, and I used it, and I loved the name and so then after that, I searched for voice actors, and yeah, that's how it started. Really. Nice. Uh, what do you plan to do as a future job? For a future job, I plan on either doing something with programming, uh, video games or something. That's one thing I'm into. Or, of course, uh, becoming a real-time director, making movies. That's what I mainly want to do. Uh because, yeah, I just want to become a director, and possibly, if not, then I'll see if I can program or do video games or whatever. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own machinimas? Well, there are some things that I don't like about my own machinima. I mean, I... I go through a part, everybody tells me they think it's okay, but then I kind of look at it and I think I could have done better at some parts, like, oh, I wish I did this instead of that, and saying, oh, I don't like that camera angle, I wish I moved it over, or something like that, but usually it's uh, because I'm kind of low on time, and I, you know, I got to work on stuff kind of fast, mainly limited cognition, I mean, the first episode took forever and I mean I gotta I mean people are gonna get tired of it so I'm starting to kinda hurry through things a little bit and try to keep things uh, how they should be but I would rate my own machinimas from about maybe 7 to 8 out of 10 Uh, if you could estimate how many hours a week do you spend actually making your machinimas um i'd say seven to ten hours making machinima i put a lot of time into it sometimes i don't even work on it at all though i mean sometimes i just take a break and then i work on it again i sometimes get kind of lazy because it kind of does take a lot of motivation to make machinima uh in my case because it's a lot of work when you actually have to really, really try hard to make it look good. As far as Machinima goes, what's your favorite game? Well, um, I started getting into the Xbox when I played Halo 3, of course. I kind of thought it looked cool and I really wanted to try it. But before then, I was a Nintendo person. I I love Legend of Zelda. I love Mario. And I actually still do. Some people call me a pussy for it. But, you know, uh, I don't really care what they say. Because, to be honest, Nintendo's still my favorite uh, video game developer. Um, my favorite series is probably Zelda. I mean, Ocarina of Time. Oh, that was... That was just amazing, and it is the best game of all time still. It's still at the top on, according to some of the websites, one of the official websites, I think. But, uh, yeah, um, I have to say Zelda is my favorite. Nice. Um, when did you actually start playing video games? Ever since I was maybe, like, four, uh... When I officially started playing it, my sister was playing A Link to the Past. Uh, I, like, had no idea what to do, but I loved it. I played it all the time uh, with her. She told me what to do. My sister, now she's 21 or something. Back then, I was four. She was, like, 13 or something like that. But um, me and her had some fun times playing them. And that's when I actually did start playing them. Cool. Um, what capture device do you use, and what program do you edit with? I used to use uh, P- 
Pinnacle Movie Box uh, Ultimate or whatever gives you a green screen and all that shit. I still I still plan on using that in the future. Um, but I, I moved to an HD capture device for the purpose of limited cognition, which is the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. And I edit with... Well, I, I edit with Sony Vegas, but I use Adobe After Effects for visual effects, and I render them, and I put them in the Sony Vegas Pro, so that is what I edit with. And I use uh, 3D programs such as Cinema 4D and 3DS Max in order to create my uh, actual 3D objects. Can people contact you about their ideas, and how can they? You can contact me from my YouTube channel. You can uh, have my email. You can have it pop up on the screen or something. Uh, my email is gamerob1 at hotmail.com. And my YouTube is gamerob1. Everything has a gamerob1 in it. My gamer tag is gamerob1. Everything is gamerob1. Okay, so <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard to contact me. If you want to talk to me on Skype, it's gamerob1, I guess. Just... Uh, no caps at all. Um, nice. So, that's about it. Um, thanks for joining me, I guess, for this interview. <laughs> and best of luck. Thanks, man. You too. Nice. Halfway through, I had to mute my microphone to throw something at the bird. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't shut up. Yeah. So that's recorded. All right. Let me just check. Swear to God, if it hasn't, someone has to die. <laughs> Yay! It did. It All right. It. Cool. Good. All right. Is that it? Yeah. Well, um, if you're still on, I'll message you with the link and stuff. Oh. Um. Okay. You still need the email or you already have it? Um. No, I don't have it. Okay, there you go. Do you have, like, a personal YouTube channel? Because I'll link them to that as well. Yeah, it's right here. Game of Rob One. <laughs> yep. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> That's what everything is, so... Yeah. Well, that'll be it. Yep. Alright. If you need anything else, let me know. And let me know when it's up, and I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. Later. So, yeah.